Plugins are small programs that are built specifically to work with a certain aspect of a program that you're using. There are a variety of filters and visual effects that are designed to work inside Photoshop. The Plugins tab inside the Preferences panel is where you decide how Photoshop handles the various plugins. So in order to get to this panel, we come up here if we're on a Macintosh, go down to the Photoshop menu, highlight Preferences, and then click on Plugins. If we're on a PC, this will be found in the Edit menu. Keyboard shortcuts, menus, and preferences will be right here underneath menus, or we can hit Control K. Then we come over here to the plugins menu. So let's talk about plugins. Now, as I said before, plugins are small programs that are designed to work with larger programs. Usually it adds some sort of small functionality like the HUD color picker, or uh, maybe it'll add some certain filters that aren't necessarily natively available in Photoshop. If some independent programmer decides he wants like a gamma filter or something like that, he can program one and Photoshop allows you to add these plugins that you download off the internet into Photoshop so that you can use these different filters in the program as you work. So what are our options? The first thing is the additional plugins folder. Well, click on that and you simply choose a folder. In this case, I don't necessarily have a plugins folder ready for you, but let's say we did. Plugins. There it is. It's on my desktop, and that's where I'm going to save all the plugins eventually. So I'll just hit choose. Now, Photoshop, every time it opens, is going to go right here to the plugins folder that, that I just created, and it's going to search for any kinds of plugins. Extension panels. These will control how Photoshop interacts with the plugins. The first one allow extensions to connect to the internet. If you have a plugin that connects to the internet for any reason, this is where you go to allow it or disallow it. Um, I'm not really sure why an extension would have to connect to the plugin, but maybe sometimes uh, it, it connects to the plugin site and gives you more presets for the plugin. I don't know. There's a couple of different reasons and you can decide here whether or not you'd like to allow that. Right below that is load extension panels. Usually I'll leave this checked only because if I'm using plugins, I want them to load every time I start Photoshop. If you don't do this, sometimes you have to load them manually. Some plugins you can't load manually. So just leave that one checked on. And then show CS Live in the application bar. Well, uh, this is a personal preference. It really doesn't matter to me either way. I don't, I don't use CS Live all that much just yet because it's basically a brand new function. So I haven't incorporated anything in CS Live into my workflow with the sole exception of Adobe Story, but that's kind of outside the realm of Photoshop. So anyway, just choose for yourself whether or not you want that to show. That's all for the plugins panel, but as long as we're talking about plugins, let's see if we can go find some. So I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to bring over a browser window. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Uh, okay. We are going to just type in Photoshop plugins. And here we go. The first thing, the plugin site, resources for Adobe Photoshop. Here's a bunch of plugins. Okay, and we even have a little legend here. New is obviously new. This means that it's available for the Mac. The Windows logo is available for Windows. And then they have a little rating system here. Uh, and then we scroll down. We've got some web design, some patterns and textures, painting and drawing, 3D, which is really interesting. Image and format importing from this website. So we have a bunch of little plugins here that we can scroll down and you see we've got some uh, Photoshop Fun 3, pixels that apply snow, mirror, and shadow effects. We've got uh, oh, a Stereogram LAB filter. That's interesting. So you can see there's a bunch of different plugins right here on the first site that we found on Yahoo. You can use Google or Bing or whichever search engine you prefer, but this is the easiest way to get plugins. Let's say we wanted to download Plugin Galaxy here. We've got a whole bunch of different effects, but it's got three stars. It's compatible with Mac or Windows. So here we go. Here's the new version. Scroll down. How do we get this? And much, much more. Here, right over here on the left, we've got download. Click on that. Which of these plugins would you like to download? Plugin Galaxy. All right. Well, we're not going to do this right now because this requires that we throw in our email. But I'm sure there's some other site on the internet here we can get that we, doesn't require our email. And essentially, that's the gist of it. You're going to get a couple of different special effects. Maybe some... Uh, some great star wipes, drop shadows, that sort of thing. <laughs> and anyway, there you have it. The plugins menu and a quick way to get plugins. And uh, that's basically it for this, for this panel. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.